This silk on linen alphabet sampler was worked by Mary Willis Ambler in Yorktown or Williamsburg, Virginia, around the mid-1770s. It's a remarkable demonstration of her patience and skill with the needle. Like many Eastern Virginia samplers, it is almost entirely reversible. The stitches are done so that they look finished on both sides. In fact, the image I've been showing you isn't the front at all. It's the mirror image of the back. Here we go. This is the front of Mary Sampler. Only a few years after she put the final stitches onto this linen, Mary attended a dance where she met a young officer on furlough from service in the Revolutionary War. His father had been in residence next door to Mary in Yorktown and had, perhaps unknowingly, perhaps not, been stirring up a keen interest in the arrival of his presumably dashing son. Mary's sister Elizabeth recalled in a later letter how she and the other sisters were disappointed with a rather slovenly, awkward man rather than an Adonis. But apparently Mary, quote, with a glance, saw past his, quote, total negligence of person to see the true character of the future Chief Justice John Marshall, whom she married in 1783. While Mary's sampler isn't the flashiest design, it is an impressive exercise in technique. She must have been sufficiently pleased with the result as she boldly marked her name across the bottom. You too can try your hand at her sampler. Check out the link below for the pattern. Your purchase of this or any of our needlework kits supports Preservation Virginia's ongoing stewardship of the John Marshall House and meaningful material survivors like the sampler.